Good morning everyone, my name is Chris from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to our fronts, not our fronts, well let's say our fronts of Britannia in Crusader Kings 3. As we are playing with East Anglia and we went to war with the Bjorn, with Jarl Bjorn of Jamtland. And we are fighting this war, probably winning, we're not gonna bother too much. If we take a look here, I was checking on Jorvik, on how he's doing, he can still bring 6,000 troops to the bear, so we can't really do much about that. Though, if we take a look at the, the murder scheme, we're pretty close to have a successful one. Like, we've done a lot to his family, we've never been caught, but I think we're gonna change, change the game, like, why should we keep worrying about... Uh, the other Jarls when we have a pretty good chance of really splitting this land up. We don't need him, he's a great leader, he's gathering a lot of soldier and they do present a huge danger for us. So we're just gonna do that. John comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer a child. What is she doing? She has a natural inclination for planning. She's an elusive shadow. Vengeful, shy and impatient. Awesome. Can I... I really, really want her to be here. Can I put her in this position? Our daughter. Nah, not his daughter. Let's go for Intrigue, so our son is better, but John, our daughter, can be assigned as the Elusive Shadow. He is average on his skills, he is vengeful, so he might present a problem to us, but you know what? She, being an Elusive Shadow and everything, just reach 20 intrigue, excellent intrigue, because she's, uh, well, she's best in this role, I guess. Put her in the right job, right? Put the right people in the right job and they'll bring a lot of advantages for you. Who sh I could marry her. Who could I marry? Like, I could marry someone who would increase her intrigue skill. Deceitful, paranoid, and lustful. She would be vengeful, shy, and patient. Mm. This could be good, maybe. What about this guy? He's arbitrary, sadistic, and generous. He's calmly, which provides him with more fertility and stuff. Vassal opinion, this is a scene and opinion of greedy characters, she's not greedy. What if I bring this 20 year old guy here, go for matrilinear. She will lose some prestige, he will gain some prestige. They will have a good chance of making babies and they will be from our family. And that bonus will be adding to her intrigue skill, I believe, right? Every spouse or is it just the leader that adds? I will graciously accept. No, apparently I thought that maybe there are skills with that, but I think that's only for the leader. Well, I've learned something new. In the future I'll bring someone better, but he does have that trait that could actually benefit us in the long run, because it is passed from partners, right? Uh, let's see, where was she? The easier way to do this is like this. So he has comely, is pleasant to look at, and there is a chance that these traits will be passed along, because they're congenital. So it might come in handy in the future to have beautiful babies. Let's see, how are we doing here? We're getting some pluses from foreign affairs and everything else. Arrange marriage, come on. With our son. Yes! Yes! Matrilinear in marriage? Uh, 
I don't think they care, but we don't want a matrilinear marriage, we want a normal marriage. Send proposal. Come on. We are now married. We are now married in West Francia. We have a, a huge alliance now. You're weak. I'm coming for, for you. I really do. I really do. <laughs> Let's see. How could we declare war for this particular land? So we go to this liege. We say... Oh, our armies are raised. Do we have enough? We don't have enough piety, I think, to go for him. A call to war. So the kingdom of West Francia is fighting the kingdom of... Uh, man! I am the one who's <laughs> doing this. Let's see. So this is uh, 5,300 with another 1,000 against 284. 2,000. Mm, okay. And he's where? He, Bavaria is here. This other guy is far away. You know what? We will accept. We want good relations. At this moment, we're just, we've just taken over this territory. So we're gonna bring our armies back. We wanna fight uh, this invader. And as soon as we defeat them, then we're gonna go on the other side. We're gonna go to um, Bavaria and start doing some damage. Let's see what we could do for tactics. Do we have cavalry? No, we have just mm, light footmen and armored footmen. Okay. So, man at arms counter... Some engineering, some raids, sappers for siege and gaining strategy, which provides us with extra enemy casualties, crosses water without penalties, or we could go for this. Spouse opinion for us at in three turns. Marriage exceptions for ourselves or close family. I guess this would be a plus, but we already have what we need. So going for Peacemaker and Gallant, how old are we? We are now 53, so we might expect ourselves to live for what, 7 more years maybe? Eh, something like that? What would be best? Heavy cavalry, skirmishers, light cavalry, we're not there. I don't think we could go for strategists. I think it's better to go this way, although it's not perfect, it might pay off at some point. Let's see, so they have a small army over here. Now actually let's go attack this army. What is our ally doing? Murderer, be winched messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon which Wolfgang could use to send urgent message here and there. Uh, if I send the give myself yard, couldn't refuse. Yeah, but it's not no secret. It's too risky. We don't want. We have high enough chances here where we don't need to get ourselves involved more than you know what we have already is going to the swamps they have higher quality troops let's try to get these allies in if they could would someone actually enforce my troops as if they do, then we have a good chance of actually taking him on. And I believe we do. So now we are reinforced by them. Uh, the chances are even more soldiers, higher quality, more men at arms. Do we have the gold to bring some people in? Doesn't really look like it. 
invite. Sure, let's invite some people in. Let's fight this battle. Hopefully it's gonna go well. Twist of fate as they make all the preparations. The churl went and died without any help from me. <laughs> See that my staff been eager for his company. <laughs> well, your Vic just broke here. But his successor, whoever this guy is, still has a lot of troops. At least these lands have broken from his control. Let's see, can we... Oh, we cannot take another shot at him for... September? A few months. Don't worry. I am planning some good things here. A Catholic world was appalled to learn that Pope Martinus himself was caught in flagrante delito with several young servants in his home. The poor aide who discovered them had to avert his eyes while the culprits rushed to grab their clothes and get dressed. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, many are aghast that the head of our faith would succumb to such temptations. So Pope Martinus II. What could we do? We could defend his character publicly even at risk of myself? Um... Is it uh, condemn his transgression? We get ten stress because we're humble. He loses some opinion of us, and we gain some piety. Maybe I should just stay silent of him. It doesn't do anything. You know what? How outrageous! Good. So now we've defeated that army, they might definitely come back. How close are we to actually finishing this? What were we fighting for here? Because I almost forgot. Oh, this territory. And it's still under our control, that is okay. Where is he running? To here? No, he goes further away. I will want to go here to Bavaria and help pretty soon. But they might bring some of those troops back and I do not like that. What else should we do with our bishop? We should fabricate a claim. Let's see. Jorvik, so he can still bring a bunch of troops in. However, we just have this huge alliance on us. Let's see. If we would were if we were to take this territory, this is a bunch of gold. It's not bad. Not great either. On Mercia. Mercia to take this territory would mean 300 troops here. This is a good territory. For here. This is a good territory too. I think what we want to go is for Workshire. Before someone else takes it. Greenwood might represent a little threat. Do I want to go for Mercia? Or do I want to go south? That is the question. I don't know. I guess I do not know yet. Let's go over there. This is our allies land, so they might want to besiege it. Speaking of which, what is our allies army doing? Maybe there's no more ally. Let's see, where could we fight you? Elephants, my summon has arrived at, at the court as a guest. Let's take a look at him. In the knight's area. 
He's pretty good, but he's expensive. This guy costs 10. So we'll force him to be a knight. Good. Now let's see where could we fight his armies. These are heels. Depending in the heels. Oh, let's take this battle right here. This is what we need. This is the battle we need. Nice, we caught him. We've won another battle there and disbanded that small army. And that would be fighting in the mountains and I do not want any of that to happen. Um, yeah, he doesn't have any other lands here, he has only here. Should I just... no. We're not gonna fight. We're gonna fight in the plains maybe, in the forest maybe. And we're not gonna fight in the... in the mountains. So once again we're playing cat and mouse. Sway, getting personal. In our recent communication with King Louis, he expressed a want to focus on ambitious and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more topics that... okay. I think he likes diplomatic matters. The ruling of the realm surely interests him. He will enjoy subterfuge and intrigue. He's what? He's learning and he's diplomacy. Let's see if he likes diplomatic matters. And I'll think I'll stop swaying, swaying him after that. Romance. A declaration of love. I am walking the gardens with some of the lords at the court when I notice my guest, Uraka, approaching me. I step aside to let her pass, but to my sur great surprise she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process this turn of events, Uraka begins to sing. To my great dismay, the woman before me cannot carry a tune to save her life. It takes a while before I am able to identify the song. It's a famous Anglo-Saxon love ballad. She has altered the lyrics to include my name and mentions of my physical appearance, ruining the rhythm of evil her. You flatter me, lady. But she was right to win my heart, or... And yeah, abandon this foolish endeavor immediately. His response... Okay, so he was happy with that. Sorry, had to stop it there for a second. Let's get back in the action. They wanna go back and resiege the area. But we will be defending because it's now ours. Can we get to them? No. Oh, we did! So we are fighting in the forest. It's a defensive battle for us. Your council, Eowulf, died. Oh man, I hate when this happens. Uh, so this guy is still the great diplomat, the possessed one. Alfred, this is our steward. Here is our knight. Sure, let's bring this guy in as chancellor. I'll focus him on domestic affairs and then go here and see. Lord Marshal, I will forbid him from now on to fight. I'll forbid this guy to fight as well. We will recruit. Another one of these people to be. So we have Marshal, Chancellor, Courtier, force him to be our knight. Your knight, your knight, force him. Sun and air will not, not yet at least. Our vassals and knight. Sure. Basically, we'll force him to fight. What would we do with the others? 
That's all. We've gained victory. Allied combatant was slain. We've lost another great. I think this one's one of those things that I don't enjoy this much. Like it's good that's under your control, but somehow they automatically get picked as generals, right? So all of a sudden you're fighting. Ooh. They form Sweden. Sweden. And this Jarl, well, he went under it. Now he can bring about 3,000 troops, which is a bit much. What can he do? Fourth physician knowledge increased. She is now a novice physician. Good for her. What else should we do? We should come here. They want to sack our village. What's this? Northumbria? Nice. So let's see. Hopefully we'll get here in time. Come on. Don't let them sack our territories. Uh, I think we're just... Oh. I think he's not going... He didn't. Did he? Uh, no. It doesn't seem like it. King Louis was swayed. Okay, we should really stop swaying him at this point. We've done what we wanted to. Jorvik, are we... Why did this stop? Oh, because he died. Let's see, can we go to the Queen King of Sweden? No, I guess he got out. Let's go ahead work on this guy um, they are going back they trying to resiege the settlement come on we want this to be done ASAP we're fabricating a claim where are we fabricating this claim? not doing anything right now mostly because we don't really have any money so we're fighting on the battlefield again we are at 29 combat advantage oh shall we go should we go in debt can we ask money from the head of the church Ransom Count Francesca for 25, yes. We can call some allies in the war. Uh, let's take a look, where is our prisoners? Let's see, can we sell someone else? We have the Jarl. Negotiate release demand conversion. He would accept. Okay. Interesting. Ransom. Okay, so we can ransom her. Ransom this guy for 10. Ransom this guy for 2. They cannot afford the full ransom. That's not going to be enough money. Going into debt will be a problem. So unfortunately we're going to have to accept that we cannot take that claim. I guess we're going to have to wait and be peaceful for a while because their opinion of our people's opinion of us is at minus 22 from all the offensive wars 
Yep, let's enforce the demands. So be it. And let's give this realm of a dike. Defender advantage plus two. We can also build a few other buildings. And let's give that to our daughter. The doctrines of Catholicism do not allow rulers to be females. Um, we could give it to him. He's pretty good at learning. Well, he's okay at learning. Let's put it that way, actually. Yeah, let's give the territory also. Let's give this territory to our son. Yeah, let's do that. And at this point, let's bring all these armies. Actually, you, this band. Now I want you to come here to Bavaria. Uh, come through here, I think it's cheaper. My skilled son and heir. My son and heir, Earl Rodri, has proven himself highly capable, especially in discrete matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the earldom of Northamshire, my liege, with your blessing, of course. Okay. Uh, Vassal shouldn't be taking such liberties, or Rodri becomes encouraged. Uh, that uh, gains encourage improvements plus 10 growth per month it gains more opinion on us and we spend some prestige so we're doing pretty good on prestige piety not that much but i think we'll be okay prisoner released the countess francesca okay we have another agent in our midst they are trying to sack our territory, knowing how soldiers act around each other and noticing how freely information and rumors flow, I am struck by an idea. In some of, if some of my own soldiers were to infiltrate Jarl Gufrid's army, they might offer a different insight into his plans. Oh, because we have an overseer trait. Gossip spreads very fast among soldiers, I could learn a lot as long as my agents stay out of trouble. Because we have Overseer. Okay, let's do that. And hopefully we get there before they sack our province, but it doesn't seem like we will. And I'm just gonna fight you. Because I hate raiders. And we need some of that money back. Nice. We've gained some prestige and we've gained a lot of gold from the raided settlement. Let's see, anything else? No. Let's go to Kent and from here on we will go there. Increase military presence, the Earldom of Huntingdonshire, gain military presence, garrison sites and control growth. Good, good, good. Increase control. We're really, we have really low control here. One. So definitely have to spend a bit more resources there. Support schemes. Increase our country's development. Collect taxes for now. Fabricate claim. Let's go away from that. Let's stay away from it. Because we do not have the money to do so. No, it's a shame because this area could be quite good for us. We're at 96. Do you think we could get more? Let's see. Promising prospects. Good. Anything else? We would ransom Bjorn. 
for a hundred. Okay, now we have the money. And then we fabricate some claims once again here in Mercia. I accept your offer. Now let's get into this war. It seems Yards is tightening security at court, hoping to track down traitorous schemers. My fellow plotters will guard his concern that he might have attracted some unwanted suspicion. So we trust him, we, he gains some intrigue challenges and 50 increase his intrigue by, fifth, by 1 or the scheme is exposed. His trail to me needs to end now. Okay, let's stop him from being part of the scheme. Let's go through here. Does it cost us 18 gold? Let's see. Yeah, 18 gold. And with this we will be participating in the battle as well. So they've lost some battles. And I'm not sure where. Ah, so there's like 4,000 troops here. But they've gathered a bunch more. Like, how did they gather this much? 10,000, because the Kingdom of Bavaria, okay. And they brought the Prince of, of Byzantium. Okay. At the moment, we're just gonna besiege some of these settlements. Try to get some gold out of it, too. Discipline and loyalty. I have just received news that the soldiers I sent to infiltrate the army have been uncovered. Who knows what kind of punishment or worse interactions they have been suffering at this very moment. Ah, uh, too bad, too bad. We're trying, we're trying. So there's some huge battles happening here. We could be bringing some forces, but they seem to be, you know, definitely outnumbered by a lot. I think this point I would ask the king of West Francia to, you know, just white peace. That's what I would do. But hey, that's just me. The time has come. Um, the chances is too small. Wait, I'm not ready. Let's take a bit more time. Let's take a look at the intrigue. Invite. Can be convinced. Bribe? Or a lot. Everybody costs quite a bit. Yeah. Not really happening there. So we're fighting the Byzantium Empire. Not quite ideal, not quite ideal. I guess we will return home. Yeah, there's no point in helping him here. These armies are working too well together okay at this point i want you to come here a scheme at the core my spy master has come to me to discover that she is certain that my knight elif is scheming against my court physician let the traitor be known to all, loses opinion of you. Plans 150 is exposed as an agent in the murder scheme against, okay? What are the chances for, for that to succeed? They're quite low. Throw him in jail. Whether I will not accuse him, okay? I will not accuse him, mostly because the chances are so low. There is actually no point in creating a bad situation out of it. Like, what are they doing here? Uninvited. One of my enemies has acquired a deadly spider. Shall we give it a go? Let's give it a go at murdering him. 
he has survived the attack. A physician has quickly called and managed to stop the venom first placing. The placement of a deadly spider bed, spider bed is hardly inconspicuous, but at least no one knows I was behind it. So we can end the scheme and he gained watchful. We get an attempted murder attempt, or if at first he does it, we can start them this again. Okay, we will stop for the moment that scheme. And I guess this is about all the time that we have for today. At the moment we will stop the episode here. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next one. As we hopefully will be white piecing here in Bavaria. Losing some, some of the prestige that we've gained. Yeah, it's gonna be, we're gonna spend, we're gonna lose some power. However, in the meantime, we are going to for use our power to expand into the British Isles, in the fractured British Isles, and hopefully, you know, be the king of Britain someday. Have a wonderful day, everyone.